morning, cyber friends. It's Mitty Man coming back at you from Walker's Music. We yet another word for the day. We give God the glory, giving the honor and the praise for waking us up on due time. Taught us with the finger of love this morning, our eyes flew wide open. See a day we never did see before, have seen before, never will see again. We give him honor. Also to the U time, you I mean the YouTube family. Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT, as well as Mama JT, y'all know the routine. The end time harvest game. Brother L.A. Kingdom Knowledge, Brother L.A. Michael McCray, Brother P.P. Drawing, Brother Hot and Clear, Brother J.T., Papa J.T., as well as Brother Orange Flavor, and our sister member, Miss Hot Yoga, we give y'all the honor and we give y'all accolade. I want to say this morning that we, is, we made it to the weekend, people, you know, and this is, a, we are in the season now. I said, tis the season to be jolly. Well, people, don't let nobody steal your joy, not not only in this season, but not none of the year. Uh, the, the strength, the joy of the Lord is your strength. You lose your joy, that's it, Satan got you. But we want to, this, we want to tell you to keep your head up, keep your head lifted up, and keep your trust in God, and everything will be all right. I got something here, though, this morning. I'm going to turn a little twist on things, people. I don't have time to deal with it the way I want to deal with it, but I nevertheless, I was led to this little scripture this morning, so I'm going to do it in obedience, and uh, I'm going to talk just a little bit on it, so we're going to get right on into it. I want everybody, we're going to the book of Malachi, fourth chapter, the very last chapter, the fourth chapter, we're going to start, we're going to read that whole, that whole chapter, there's nothing but five, six verses. It says, for behold, the day is coming that that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall lead them neither root nor branch. But unto you that are fear my name shall the Son, S-U-N, of righteousness, arise with healing in his wings, and he shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet in the day that I shall do this, said the Lord of hosts. In other words, who's going to do it? The Lord said he's doing it. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant, which I commanded unto him at Horeb, in Horeb, for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Y'all hear that, people? The great and dreadful day of the Lord. This is not no Satan. This is the Lord doing. Okay. And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. You see, the spirit of a lot. Let me God out a blessing first of all to the readers, hearers, and especially the doers of his word. Now, I'm going to move swiftly now, people. So, in other words, you got to, be, you got to think fast with this because I'm going to move swiftly. That Elijah the prophet he was talking about, we know Jesus came and plainly told to his disciples that that was John the Baptist. That was Elijah. The spirit of Elijah was in John. Now, what was his job? It tells you plain. His job was to turn the heart of the fathers to the children. And the heart of the children to their father. Lest I come and smite the earth with the curse. Now, a lot of us will read that. And we would think that Perhaps he was talking about natural fathers with the natural children. But no, 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 no. It's not only speaking. That wasn't what he was speaking about. He was talking about God. That's what he was talking about. Our heavenly father. In other words, in, to, to a degree. Also, it, it had a twofold meaning. Because of the fact that we have turned our backs on God. In other words, we need to, what? Turn our the hearts back to the father. It's just like it is now. People doing everything. They have, their heart is not into God to a certain degree. And you know, this is why we preach the gospel. Trying to what? Turn the hearts of the children back to the Father. That Ain't that what we do? I thought so. Well, at any rate, we see here that it's a great day coming, people. Day of God's wrath. This God, I can see the earth is in store for what? A great renovation. Gonna, God going to do some remodeling and some refining. Fire refines, people. Don't y'all know that? Fire, fire purifies. 
This world, this world gonna, this world gonna be purified. God gonna purify, and He said, "This is I, the Lord, will do this." Well, you know, people, just to make it kind of short, I ain't got time to deal with this here right now. I need to do a Bible study on this here. But what they're saying and telling us in the Book of Malachi, and I can prove it in Scripture, but I can't prove it this morning, sitting in this session. When Jesus came to the earth the first time, He came to do with it. He came to deal with the earth then. A lot of people don't believe that. Jesus came to set at liberty. The day of the Lord was going to bring in the, the justice of the Lord when he first came. But you see, the prophecies had to be fulfilled. When Jesus got up in the temple that day and read the, that passage from Isaiah, it's a part that he stopped that. He didn't continue because he knew. Remember, he's God. He knew that he was going to be cut off. But really and truly, Jesus came to bring in fulfill the everlasting kingdom at that time that's when he came that's what he came to do but he was cut off he was cut off remember the crucifixion that's what stopped it we're living now in grace but people grace is gonna run out and so many man just behoove and telling everyone it behoove you to pay to not mock at this word i see a lot of people mocking talking about it in many ways and all of that, and I'm just telling you people, this according to this, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father. That means man, woman, boy, girl, coming to the Father, but by me. That's what he said. So now, me the man ain't going to argue with that. And I ain't going to try to make it say nothing else but what he said. So now, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plead with you to do the same thing. And if you were one of those that scoffers, that he, the Bible talks about it in the last days, scoffers are talking about where the promise of his coming for every, as it was in the beginning, it's still now and ever, look like to me ever shall be. That's what they're saying in so many words. But like I said, people, there he is coming today. He came the first time, didn't he? What we are about to celebrate in this season, his birth. He came the first time, and if he came the first time, he's coming again. Because he's got to fulfill the prophecies. The prophecies say he's coming again. Jesus is coming again. So therefore, they, the prophecies said that he was going to come the first time. That's what they said. If you look in the book of Michael, it said, Oh, Bethlehem. That where he, we, that's where he will be born, will be in Bethlehem. Joseph traveled to Bethlehem, didn't he? That's where Jesus was born. He came the first time. So that leads me and lets me know that he's coming again too. So you better have your garments clean. You better have your wedding garment. And it better be clean. Because when Christ comes this time, people, let me tell you something. I know he is so loving and full of grace right now. Yes, he is. But when he come again, he's not coming as the lamb, people. He's coming as the lion. He's coming as a judge. He's going to judge. Judge me with him. He said, I'm coming quick. And my reward is with me. So you ain't going to have time to get right. Like I know a lot of you trying to be slick. Just like you try to deal with many man, you're going to try to deal with God the same way. You're going to wait until the nick of time and then get right. You may not have no, it's going to happen so quick, people going to make your head swim. You're going to have time to get right. He said, wherever I come and catch you, that's where you're going to stay. He said, let him that is unjust be unjust still. That's what the word said, people. Many man didn't say it. So with that being said, I'm telling you something. Whatever you get, whatever you get into, God is not in it. It's best that you come out of it. And look, people, it's the weekend. Have your fun. It's the holiday season. Have your fun. But do it sensible. Don't do nothing you're going to regret. And remember this, the life you save, it may be your own. So if you're going to drive, don't drink. And if you're going to drink, don't drive. Get somebody to drive for you. Because if you know you're going to drink, that's going to take somebody with you that, that can drive for you. There ain't no sense in talking about what you can handle, because you can't. It's Middleman saying peace and goodbye.